travel lovers! Welcome to A Wanderlust for Life, the channel that talks all things travel, food, and living in Amsterdam. And on so many of my videos, you guys asked about my backpack, which is the Pack Safe City Safe CX, which is a 17 liter bag. Now I travel with this a lot, like, well, every single time I travel, I travel with it. And it's great as a personal item and as a day bag, things like that, but it isn't perfect. And I've kind of been on the lookout for something new because needs change. So Pack Safe was nice enough to send me a couple of their bags and I've been testing one of them out, which is what I'm gonna to talk to you about today. Here we have the PackSafe MetroSafe X. This is a 20 liter bag. So I went from 17 to 20 liter. Now I usually fly KLM. If you watch my channel, you probably know that. And that means that I'm not picking my bags for Ryanair and EasyJet and the other budget airlines. But you can see like it's not, you know, it's not that big, but there are definitely pros and cons to it. And at the end of the video, I'm gonna tell you what I'd love to change. My dream is to make a bag with PackSafe. So I want you to tell me right now in the comments if you would really like to see that too, because if more people wanna see that and I make the perfect bag, I need to share that with them. So yeah, let me know down in the comments. But this bag is made from 25 plastic bottles, which I love that sustainability aspect of it. It is 20 liters, like I said, that's a bit bigger and will not account for a personal item on all airlines. I don't even think it counts for KLM. There are a couple colors. This is, you know, kind of a dark grayish color. So I'm gonna go ahead and go through the features for you. Now the big thing about PackSafe is the security features. That's why I use PackSafe. And especially when they first started, the bags were, I'm sorry, but ugly. Like actually ugly. <laughs> And I hate to say that because I love the brand. That's just a reality. Like you don't wanna buy something if you don't think it works for you, right? And whatever that means for you. So here we have, it's very traditional looking backpack, right? It almost looks like a Jansport with the zip around here and then the front zipper. So we'll start here in the front. Now they have little loops here so that you can hook the zipper through it. So it's not exactly theft proof, but it is more of a theft deterrent because you kind of have to poke your finger in there to move it out, which takes a lot longer and you might notice by them. So this opens up and it's just a regular pouch like you would see anywhere else. There are two kind of separated sections in there. I use this for my wallet, my lip stuff, any bits and bobs that I need really quickly. So tissues, a uh, reusable bag, things like that. So that all fits perfectly in there. The side here, we'll just go around and then go on the inside, how about that? The side here has a snap to open the water bottle pouch. Back here, we have a hidden zipper. So I really like this because this is a perfect spot for a passport or anything that you just kind of want to keep a little hidden. A lot of bags have this now, but if it doesn't have it, I don't like that because I feel like it's an easy place to put a pocket and it's easily secured when it's on your back. Here we have a pass through for uh, putting it on your luggage. Now, Sean didn't like that it was so far down, but actually it was very sturdy when it was on top of my bag. So I had no problem. Also back here, one of the key things that I love about the Paxi backpack is that they have um, this feature that you can undo one of the sides of the straps and you can wrap it around something and re-close it. And go around here. We have no uh, pocket on this side, which I feel, I, I, we'll get in the pros and cons. But I love that it has these loops. So you can actually put like a carabiner or something on here. And I love that for like a hat clip that I'm hoping to get soon <laughs> to put a hat on here. Uh, water bottle, neck pillow, anything like that. I just love that there's an actual spot for it. And over here we have an outside pocket that's vertical. I thought that was kind of weird at first. I wasn't sure if I was gonna like that. But when you open it up, there's actually a little mesh separator inside to keep some of the smaller bits. And there's also a little key strap. So what I put in here is like my earbuds. Uh, sometimes I'll put my wallet. I mean, I've used this on a trip recently, so I'm still not <laughs> totally sure what I'm gonna use every pocket for, but I put my sunglasses in here, hand sanitizer, like anything that is just, you want it at easy reach. Now the front also has an exo mesh, so that means it's kind of slash proof. 
The back also is slash proof. The straps are very cushy. And this is the one thing, this is like, if I had to pick my biggest pet peeve of the City Safe CX bag was the straps were really uncomfortable. Um, the And they may have changed that. Like I said, that bag is very old. Um, but I felt like even as a shorter person, these kinds of things were right in my armpits. And I really, really hate that. It just makes it so uncomfortable if you're wearing it all day. This was amazing and I love these straps. I love how comfortable they are and they have these little clips. You can also clip things here and the back padding has like a little uh, spine section so it helps a little bit with air but not a lot. The structure is very, very sturdy which there's pros and cons with that. So let's get inside the bag. So at the top here we also have this nice handle that is really, really strong and really easy to grab. But we have another feature of PackSafe, which is how you lock the zippers. So here, it's like there's a, a thing that you flip up and down and then you can move the thing to the side. Lots of thing things, huh? Um, and then the zippers actually come together. Now this is the same as it is on the City Safe bag, so I'm very familiar with these. I will say it takes some getting used to using some of these features. But then you just open it like a regular bag. And there you have it. This is kind of made to come down and open so you can see a little easier. You see the web siding uh, so that it doesn't flop open, I guess. So again, pros and cons coming. This fits a 16 inch laptop. Mine is a 15.6 inch Dell and it fits so nicely in there. I was so happy about that. And then there's an 11 inch tablet pocket, which my e-writer is in here. If you've never heard of an e-writer, this is the most amazing thing ever. I use Supernote, not sponsored, not an affiliate or anything, but love this thing. And that just pops in there. And then, you know, what's funny about this bag is it seems like when you get to the bottom, it kind of pops out a little bit so you can shove some stuff down in there which depending on what you're packing can be really beneficial. And then on the other side, we have kind of an organizer section. Now, I'm really iffy about organizer sections because I feel like it, it makes it so that you have to pack your bag a certain way, but I think they did a really good job with this that is not true on every single bag, which you'll see if you watch any of my other videos. But there is a zipper pocket here at the top, just if you wanna put anything on the inside of it. It's not super deep, I wanna say it's about, well, it's about that deep, which I think is pretty good for the inside. And then there's an RFID pocket to protect your cards so that people can't use technology to kind of take your information off of your cards. That is where I put my passport. Although I do actually put my passport in a pack safe passport holder. <laughs> so um, it already has RFID protection, but just extra protected. And then there's some pockets here some other little pockets. So if you watched um, one of my videos where I talked about there's a little tin that I have, kind of an emergency kit um, with some, you know, pills or uh, tablets or whatever. I just pop that in here and there's two small pockets and then a pen pocket, which I think is the perfect amount of organization because otherwise I'm gonna have a pouch of some kind which is how I pack this thing. It's also really nice to know that it is water repellent, although I, <laughs> I will say it got wet uh, the other day. I live in Amsterdam, it's gonna happen. And it took a while for it to dry, but I didn't really worry about the inside, the things that were on the inside. But you can also see that two of these zippers, I think that they're, they're meant to be harder to like poke through but I think it also offers some extra water resistance. But the top one is a regular zipper, which I find kind of odd that they did it that way. Let's go ahead and do the pros and cons, shall we? We'll start with the pros. I think it looks like a great bag. I, I love the design. I think that the zippers are in all the right places. The pockets are in all the right places. I love the thickness of the straps. The straps are so much more comfortable. I think that is a very nice upgrade that they did to these bags. I mean, it's hard for me to say because my bag is so old that <laughs> they probably did this like five years ago, but I do feel like this is such a great um, use of, you know, an upgrade. And then just all the loops that they have on the front, on the actual straps themselves, the features. I just absolutely love this bag. The cons, uh, there are, two big ones. 
The first one is this water bottle pocket. Now, <laughs> it kind of tapers down and there's nothing really in this right now. I did put my laptop in there for, uh, just so you could see that it fits one, but this is a, I think it's a 500 mil, like a, uh, what do you call these kinds of bottles? You'll know what I mean. But this goes in here fine, but when there's nothing in it, it's kind of okay, but you can see it kind of jiggles around in there. And when the bag is full, it just feels like it's gonna pop out. I, this isn't, like it has a little bit of elasticity to it, but not really, it doesn't really keep it in. And then I try to snap it, but there's not enough room for the bottle if you do that. So I don't love this pocket. On the other bag that I'm gonna be testing, I think I like their pocket a lot better. So that is one big, and that to me, that's a really big deal. I think there always needs to be a water bottle pocket on the outside, umbrella pocket, tripod pocket, whatever you use it for, there always needs to be one. The other thing, maybe it's a bit silly, so I'm curious how you'll feel about it. Okay, you see the top of the computer, and if you have a 16 inch or a little bit bigger, um, you know, it'll be a little taller. But I just feel like this is a waste of space, and the height is actually one of the, re the big reason that it doesn't fit as a personal item, uh, technically. And I just feel like it's a waste of space. I don't understand why the height is there. The way I ended up using it to get the most out of the bag, out of my personal item, is zipped it up, and then I stuffed like a sweater or something in top. So you could do it that way. I just don't, I just feel like you can make it shorter and fit into more places because I don't feel like a lot of people are gonna use that space necessarily. But overall, I love this bag. I love the design. This is gonna be taking the place of my City Safe bag and I'm obsessed with it. The next bag that I'm gonna be trying, and I was really excited about it, but as I said, I kind of want to create my own bag and that would be combination of the two. So the next bag that I'm going to be reviewing is the Vibe 25 liter bag, and that is not gonna be a personal item, but <laughs> that's definitely one that you'll be taking on to pack and everything like that. But I did talk to somebody that I saw who had that bag in a cafe here in Amsterdam and they absolutely love it, so I'm looking forward to testing it out. If you like this video, give it a like, subscribe if you want more travel videos. I do go places a lot of the time too, so more of those are coming. Or if you just want to know about expat life here in Amsterdam, hit that subscribe button. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.